Welcome back to our show. It's called Sister Circle Live. We appreciate your love and support. And this is the segment that we call Full Circle. Mm -hmm. And we like to talk about issues we feel are important to all of us. Mm -hmm. uh, the one story that has been a top of mind this week, of course, has been the families that have been separated at U.S. borders. How do we feel about what's happening? More importantly, what can be done? Mm -hmm. This story, obviously, we talked about it at the top of the show. We've been talking about it a week about families being sure. separated and you know some concessions have been made but the fact that a lot of these families are still separated from their tr their children right it's just heart-wrenching it, it really it, is and it some is. of the conditions and I, I did and I'm saying this really quickly some of the conditions that I've seen uh, some of the pictures that I've seen and yeah. some of the video they're treating them like animals oh my god treating these human beings Baby, like right, animals right. in cages right. and it just looks like we don't need <clears throat> it's just so heart-wrenching yes. how could anyone in their right mind think that this is okay okay in the beginning it's well, evil it, it is child <laughs> abuse at its finest let me just start there it's child abuse at its finest at its finest and it's interesting because here in the states if a mother you know leaves a child at home underage by themselves you go, then you can you go, go to jail, jail for that yes. right you can um or or if there's some type of physical abuse um that's, that's happening to the point. child you know you can go to jail for that that's a good but it's point. quite interesting in this in the very same country the president can sign a decree mm -hmm. to say um you know what let's separate them from their parents mm -hmm. and throw them away, put them in dog kennels, mm -hmm. and that's okay. Mm -hmm. And no one's going to go to jail for that. And cover them in foil. And no one's going to go to jail for yep. that. Isn't that, isn't that interesting? <coughs> yeah. Let's yeah. just stop, stop that's a and let's very, really think about that. That's a very good point. It is. Think about what I just said. It's a very yeah. good point. Yeah. And no one's going to go to jail for that. Right. Mm -hmm. But if you, um, you know, we've had... had Run into the store. Mm -hmm. And you yeah. see Bailey a car in the back seat. I, I will. You go jail for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah separate from, from the, the car. parents. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, and I and I saw a photo, and 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 I I, I I don't like to misspeak, but I definitely saw a photo. Did you guys see the photo where their kids had on orange jumpsuits? Yep. Mm -hmm. Those I were did. children, right? I Correct. Did. As if they Why had are they in orange jump on orange jumpsuits like the were. men that are in prison? Yeah. 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 Like they're prisoners. Yes. Right. Yes. First of all, they're children. Right. So they didn't commit the crime. Yes. Right. Right. yes. They're underage. They didn't commit the crime. So why are they in prisons? Mm -hmm. Shouldn't they be somewhere where they're having lunch? And, you know, right. they're, they're separating and, they, and it's right. not their responsibility mm -hmm. what their children, what their parents have done, if in fact they've even committed mm -hmm. a crime, because yeah. we can go back there. Um, <clears throat> and, and we really need to speak to that. Like, mm -hmm. we, we know that, uh, you know, immigrant, you know, people have been trying to get into the country. We know all of that. We, we understand that's been going on for years. There have been people that have been trying to get into the country illegally for you. We, we know all of that. Right. Okay, everybody knows all of that. Then Jeff Sessions signed a, uh, you know, he, he signed a, a law, I guess, or whatever. What do you call it? It's not a law, but a, de a decree or something, mm -hmm. a, a bill or, you know, it's, it's here in the notes. Right. <clears throat> I can't think of the... He rolled out. Right. Jeff, a policy. Jeff, a policy. There we go. There you sorry. Go. I, sorry, I wasn't there to, my to words. help you on that, babe. My words. Yes. But he signed a policy saying, you know, the zero tolerance policy, mm -hmm. right? And the zero tolerance, tolerance policy was, was basically geared towards, you know, illegal immigrants, <laughs> gang bangers, people coming into the country, um, you know, cause, wreaking havoc, you know, mm -hmm. causing uh, a, mm -hmm. a disturbance, mm -hmm. if you will. Well, that but, was the picture they wanted to paint about right, the people anyway. Right, but right, 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 right. Okay. But... Studies have shown, studies, you know, that have shown that mostly women and children are the ones that want to come into the country. And then what about asylum? Mm -hmm. You know, it is not illegal to seek asylum. Right. right. So what's happening where, when people are seeking asylum, okay, why, why is this happening to them? Mm -hmm. Does anybody have any information on why they cannot seek asylum? And furthermore, their kids have to come. Mm -hmm. Because the mothers are trying to get their children from being recruited into gangs. Right. Because people are, you know, the, the gangs are trying to recruit their... their the cartels. So, Hello, somebody. Here's mm -hmm. the thing. So, it's like you said the other day, Kiana, when you said, bring me your tired, bring me your poor. The country was supposed to be able yes. to receive other... Um, uh, receive diversity, yes. right. if you will. So, here's the thing. What is happening? Seeking asylum from countries that are brown, and I'm considering, you know, the Mexican... Mexican um, uh, Mexico and Guatemala mm -hmm. and Honduras, South America, those are quote unquote brown countries mm -hmm. in certain perspectives. Right. Uh, that is not okay. It's illegal to seek asylum in his mind. 
in our for our leadership but mind, it's not illegal it's right not hello but in his mind you're coming here seeking asylum you're taking resources from american citizens we don't have anything to offer you mm. so at the end of the day it's, it's very very unfortunate that the, the the gist of this have not been really acknowledged the fact is people are coming here to work everybody that work. come here they are not they We're are a better not, life. yes, they are yeah. not criminals. They're not the MS-13. They're not, you know, drug dealers. I'm sure there's a percentage of people who may be, but the mass majority are women and children and fathers who want better for their family. Yes. And that is what this supposed, this country is supposed to offer. Yes. Period. Well, well, regardless of color or who you, creed or wherever you're from. Yes. Period. And I just, you know, I just want to say this. Um, when President Trump was in, the, was, was running for president, for, for, for the presidency, and he said, Said, you know, we're going to build a wall and yeah. that whole wall thing. Well, Mexico's going to pay for the wall. Hey, guys, you guys that voted for him, mm -hmm. um, are you happy now? Right. Um, this is the result of his energy of, I want to build a wall mm -hmm. uh, to try to get well, immigrants out of the country. Now you've separated families. Right. And then here's the Just thing, very the people unorganized support 45, support 45. So unfortunately, we need to figure out, even though that is true, we need to figure out what how, what do we do to yes. make this work? Right. So, or to fix it. Right. What is the, the, the workaround? Okay, so we do have five ways to help, obviously. Uh, money, it's going to, you know, donate. Um, call your representative. Um, and we have some, we have this listed here so that you can definitely do those things. Volunteer. Uh, we definitely, Spanish-speaking people are needed so that the Spanish-speaking people can speak to the children to, mm -hmm. to figure out where their parents are, all of that, so that it, they can be reunited. Apply to be a foster parent, mm -hmm. because we don't know how long this process is going to take. Yes. Mm -hmm. You never know. And there is going to be a national protest June 30th outside of the White House and other cities um, uh, put on by Families Belong together. So uh, we will definitely list that, list that on all of our social platforms. We wanted to just just speak our truth and how we're feeling about it. Uh, it's just very, very sad. It's very, very it's sad. Very it's so sad. ironic. It's it's whole country. The whole it's just country. very organ unorganized. Mm -hmm. It's just the administration very unorganized is just administration. ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've seen. And, and, and it's so much Oh, my God. Injustice has taken place under this administration. I mean, it's corrupt from the White House on down, yes. people. It is more than what we even see. Yes. yes. And then the thing is, these kids are only supposed to be separated for 20 days, and it's more than that. You know That's how 20 days from your mama at 5 is? How do you feel? Send us your thoughts at Sister Circle TV on all of our social platforms.